My name is Jana, and you're watching Finnish Knitting Stories, episode number 82. Welcome or welcome back. I'm coming to you from Finland, from the southern part, right by the sea. And today we're in my craft room, and we will be talking about knitting, as usually. You can find me on Instagram, Esketunits, and on Ravelry, Esketunits, and on Ko-fi and Patreon as Finnish Knitting Stories. So, today is Friday, it's morning. I'm a bit short on time, but we will try to make it happen. <laughs> it's very sunny day. It's beautiful sunny day here. My week has been, yeah, but let's not talk about it now. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here with you. Knitting. Want to talk about knitting? I bet. <laughs> so, do I have finished objects this week? I do. Surprised? I'm surprised. I just finished something right like five minutes before I sat down to record. I finished something and I will show it to you. Are you a careful viewer? Have you spotted something over there? What's happening? Are you seeing double? <laughs> Who is that? Who is that green <laughs> charming lady? <laughs> Do you think that's Franny? No, that's not Franny. <laughs> this is Franny. This is Fifi, Franny's uh, lovely cousin that just moved in with us. You can see she's a bit, <laughs> she's a bit larger. I don't know what happened. Uh, so this is Fifi. She has pink sparkly eyes and pink belly. And she's wearing Franny's dress because, yeah, her luggage got lost on the way. We hope it turns up. So uh, she had to borrow uh, some clothes from Franny and Franny is very kind and that's her favorite cousin. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> if you're new here, <laughs> uh, um, our daughter's birthday is tomorrow and the only thing she wanted she wanted a frog and I thought it's not going to happen because I just could not, I could not wrap my head around knitting another frog. It's, it's fiddly. It's lovely, but fiddly. The pattern, by the way, is frog by Claire Garland and also known as Dot Pebbles. Um, it's lovely. It's very quick to make. I started her last night and finished this morning, but it's just, it's just a lot of fiddly bits, like, like little frog fingers. <laughs> and toes that are now hidden in the shoes. But anyways, Sophia is getting her wish tomorrow, have the, the frog. Fifi will move into Sophia's bunny house. Yeah, I don't know, will you see her again? Probably occasionally on this, on this channel <laughs> or on my Instagram. But this is mostly Franny's space. But yeah, we now have two of them. They have different eyes, they have different coloring. And this one, for some reason, is a bit chunkier because I think she has eaten more mosquitoes this summer than Franny. Franny has more sophisticated taste. She, <laughs> she does not like mosquitoes. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> we have two. <laughs> That's, I think, a good, <laughs> good um, screen, <laughs> screenshot. Um, yeah. So whew, <laughs> I made our daughter's wish come true. <laughs> uh, this mama can take a break now. Yeah, it's same pattern, same yarn. And yet they turned out so different. How funny is that? I think same needle size. Or did I use a smaller needle on Franny? I don't know. Probably. I think that's the thing. I probably used a smaller needle on Franny. Whoops. No. Anyways, they are around the same size. Or maybe I just stuffed this one more. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of froggy business going around here. And yeah, I pulled some chairs from a dollhouse. I have got a lot of questions about, not dollhouse, the doll cabinet that I have there. And I will, I will show it occasionally. Probably... I think it's a topic for a vlog because not everybody is interested in in my dolls most likely and we will save it for for some for some vlogs maybe uh, <laughs> yes and here we talk about knitting so knit frog just happened this morning uh I have not been knitting much this week. So all of the knitting I'm going to show you now happened last weekend and on Monday. And after that, pretty much nothing. I've been just... Uh, 
yeah, later about that. Let's knitting, 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 knitting. First whip. Let's go to whips. That was my only finished object. First whip that I'm going to show you. You have seen this before. And yeah, it's this one. It's a long road cardigan or actually mine is a hoodie. I have made a teeny bit of progress on this. I actually almost finished the body. Only the bind off is left. And why did I stop? Because I decided I wanted to actually either tubular or Italian, sewn Italian bind off. I'm leaning towards the second. But I think the pattern suggests tubular. It's not a big difference. It's just a couple of extra steps. But I think it's worth a fit on this. So I do have the body. Uh, did I say it's by Mayu Kope? Uh, you can find the pattern in her book Contrasts that I own. Um, long. <laughs> it's long. It's long. You can't see. It's still longer than that. I made mine longer than in the pattern because I want it extra cozy. And I really hope that, that the cables <laughs> block out and I have enough positive ease. But yeah, I just need to gather myself and do the sewn Italian bind off all the way around. <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. I don't have a problem with that. I just need a bit of time and uh, where I can concentrate. Yeah. Okay, the other two are new castons. Yes. One I mentioned last time and it was Swancho that I talked about. It's a Kvitka Swancho by Olga Potano, who is a Ukrainian designer but currently living in in the United States. I think can't be Canada. I hope. Yeah, <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right. And I started it last Saturday. I recorded on Friday. And on a Saturday morning, dog woke me up. Chucky. She woke me up at six in the morning because she, she doesn't care about the concept of weekend. <laughs> uh, and I could not fall asleep after that. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just go in the living room while the house is still quiet. I can have a bit of quality knitting time with myself and some podcasts and some knitting podcasts. Uh, and I cast on Swancho. I did because I talked about it. I had yarn in my stash. I found all the yarn I needed in my stash. And want to see? Want to see how far I got? How far do you think I got? It's not ready, but it's almost ready because... Ooh, it's fabulous. <laughs> it's fabulous. What are you talking about? It looks ready. No, it's not. It's missing one sleep. <laughs> Here we have, and this is not finished yet. Um, so, oh my God, the sun is so bright. I don't know. Is it blowing out? I hope not. Ta-da. I need it on one breath. Like, really. I, I think I was somewhere here on a Saturday afternoon and then this happened on Sunday and then this bit I think I need on Tuesday, probably. Um, can you see it's not black? It's not black. It's galaxy. And the yarn, the yarn is late loppy. It's Istex late loppy. It's all from my stash. I, I brought... I brought the wall bands and the leftovers. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Fancy <laughs> plastic bag is my project bag. So the pattern calls for main color and two colors, but I found these like two colors, like one yellow and one pink or whatever you choose to have. I'm losing ball bands. And... Uh, I did not have... I had two yellows because I did want to stay close to the original colors. Yellow is number 1703. Oops. And then I had one of each. So I decided that I'm just going to use two colors instead of, instead of one. So I did dark, light, dark, light. And they are both pinks. This is fuchsia, I think. 1705 and 1412. And then the main color is galaxy 1707. It has all the different flecks in it. 
and I am knitting size I don't know was it three like a large extra large ish because I looked at I looked at other people's projects on Instagram and on Ravelry there are not many surprisingly I don't know why because this pattern was also in a Novita magazine last year that's where I got mine I think I should have probably bought it from the designer because Novita is f famous for butchering the patterns because they are trying to squeeze them in a small space to fit them in a magazine and then it's, it's just it often turns into a nightmare <laughs> uh, yeah you need to do your own math you need to figure out how to do increases like <sighs> I'm not gonna get into it but I anyways Main thing was the chart. The chart was there. I used it and there you go. Uh, what can I say about the pattern? It's lovely. Some rows do include knitting, involve knitting with three colors. So probably not uh, for a very beginner, but intermediate, intermediate <laughs> knitter, I think can pull it off. And then there's one thing I did not enjoy. Very... What, just one thing. It's not a criticism, and I, it was totally worth doing it because the the. It's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful pattern. Very long floats in a, some of the rows. The floats floats were ridiculously long, and you needed to catch them many times. I think the longest one was over twenty stitches, maybe like twenty three. <laughs> See, I'm not a confident color work knitter. I'm not. It's not my strongest side. I still do it. I still try. I always choose sticky yarns because it helps. And I use my knitting ring and I would never do color work with merino, like a superwash merino because or alpaca because it's just too slippery and I could not pull it off. But sticky yarn helps. And I think it looks, it looks decent. It looks decent. It will be better once I block it. And yeah, so I chose quite big size because I did not want it to look like ill-fitting sweater. And unfortunately, in some cases, when I look at the projects, it does because I think people have knit too small size or their gauge was off and it came out smaller than it should be because it's a swancho which is like poncho with the sleeves yeah <laughs> poncho married a sweater and we have swancho and i think it needs to be like size of a poncho and then you just add sleeves and yeah i did not want it to look like sweater <laughs> and it does not um I hope I can finish it and try it on. Yeah, I ran out of yarn. That's why I, I stopped <laughs> at one point. I still need a couple of centimeters on this sleeve and then a little sleeve here and then we're done. And I'm going to be living in this in winter. I can feel it. I can feel it already that I'm going to live in this because it's lead loppy. It will keep me warm. Is it soft? Not. It's not. If you have never knit with lead loppy, it's Icelandic. And it's Icelandic sheep, it has a lot of guard hair, but it's it's for own purpose. It it keeps you warm, it keeps you dry outside, and it's just it's just very, very nice. But it's not soft. <laughs> and I think it doesn't have to be. Because I think there is a good kind of itch from a sweater and bad kind of itch. And this one is definitely a good kind of itch. Yes, you can feel it, but. I have I have trained myself not to be bothered by it. By a big prickle, I'm not bothered. By a small one, still a bit. Like, I I mostly cannot wear alpaca because it's the it's the little itch, and I don't like that. the The big one is is okay. I can wear it next to skin. <laughs> um, yes. I, I love it. I almost skipped this bit and I'm happy I did not. I was just feeling tired and I thought, what if I just do the the bottom in one color? But I'm happy I I pulled through and did it. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful design. It's a beautiful design and I'm very happy with it. And can't wait to wear it. We, we will soon have the weather for it. <laughs> uh, because it went from plus 20 to plus 9 
uh, in one day and I don't know what's outside today. I haven't been yet. Morning, I have been. It was cool. When Sofia went to the school bus. Yeah, it was not warm. She was wearing a jacket and so, so was I. <laughs> okay. Yes, that one. That one. Uh, and then I have one more, which is also a new custom. Where did I put the bag? Right in front of my nose. I put the bag. Um, <clears throat> by Bertie and Puppet, I chose a beautiful bag that would make me happy. Uh, because I have a birthday cast on in there. Uh, my birthday was on Monday and it was a nice day. It was a nice, it was a nice Monday for a change. <laughs> the rest of the week, not so much, but anyways, straight in the morning, I got to cast on I got to cast on my birthday cast on cast on my cast on um i talked about it in the previous episode and it's um i will try to say it correctly because i watched the video i watched the this interview with the designer so i will try really really hard to say the pattern name correctly and the designer name correctly it's um <laughs> give me a second <laughs> i'm gathering myself uh, uh <laughs> how did i do <laughs> my dutch people how did i do <laughs> uh, and the designer is maika maika van ken <laughs> i tried I, I tried to do my best <laughs> um uh, so it's from the pink book from the neons and neutrals and this is how far i got on monday and I'm knitting it in the original yarns because they were a gift, which was beautiful. And thank you to, to the wonderful gift giver. <laughs> I, I, it was a beautiful gift. And I'm knitting them for my birthday. And there you can see the tiny yoke. I feel a bit masochistic because I'm knitting a yoke on a small needle. Colorful, color work yoke on a tiny needle with lots of colors. And... Lace weight yarn held double. <laughs> Crazy, right? Why would I do that to myself? Actually, it's not as bad as it sounds because the yarn is lovely. It's sticky. The stitches are really even. It looks great and works great. And it, I think it's the first time when I'm knitting something in the original color with the original yarn i always do something even if the if i use the yarn that's suggested in pattern i pick my own colors i think this is the the first time ever <laughs> um how am i doing uh, i think i'm doing all right until i hit i was doing all right <laughs> until i hit this color which is really not my color. And the rest of the colors are, <laughs> and I'm so, <laughs> I'm trying to get over it and not substitute it for anything else because to me, this shouldn't be here. It's just my, my own preference. To me, this is from a different palette because then it goes into like bright pinks and this stands out. It's too autumnal. It's too brownish. It's, I would prefer like a coffee color, like um, not so red, maybe. I don't know. Or it needs to be a cooler. I just, I'm just not feeling it. I know it will probably blend in once I add all the other colors. But at this point, I'm like, I'm so tempted to rip back and substitute it. But I think I'm going to power through and stick to the original design because... We need to expand our color palette, right? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And when something is making you feel a bit uncomfortable, it's also a good thing. Because after a while, things might grow on you and you get a new color in your pencil box. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, the next one. I did not bring the other yarns. Darn. The next one is a brighter pink, and that's already all right. And then it will go into the pinks. And I, I love I love the bright neons. I'm usually a soft neon gal. Like, I like my neons, but I like them toned down. Soft neons. That's what I do. And these all are bright neons, and 
I'm feeling them. Yes. So this is going to be lovely. Uh, it feels like one of those heirloom pieces that you will pass on to the next generations because you have put your heart and soul into knitting it. <laughs> um, and this also has a special yarn. So loving it. Loving it. So excited about this one. And another color work. I just said color work is not really. Oh, I did bring other yarns. Sorry, I will show you what's going to happen next. <laughs> my, my very fancy project bag. Uh, like, this is the next color. And that's a yes to me. And then there will be, yeah, other colors. See? Oops. I know it's gonna it's gonna blend in and it's gonna I'm not showing it in the order but you get the idea probably I'm not sure the, like this yeah you get the idea uh, oh yeah skip this one but I would not have chosen this if I would have been putting my own color palette I would not have chosen this but I'm I'm learning to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> because designer saw it like that and designer has a good taste and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with it <laughs> hmm. I'll put it away carefully carefully I had a stitch stoppers and I pulled them off in the morning because I wanted to knit on it and then I got distracted I needed to finish the frog and I don't know where the stitch stoppers are <laughs> Chaos, pure chaos around here. So, those are all my... Something just... <laughs> yarn down, man overboard. Uh, <laughs> um, those are all my knits for today. The other things, I have either not worked on them or worked so small amount that it's not worth showing, but still a lot of other things in progress. And I'm, I'm short on time. Sorry, guys. I have like 10, 15 minutes and then I really need to leave. Let's let's go quickly. Let's go quickly because, yeah, what I'm wearing today. Are you going to ask? Are you going to ask? It's all birthday themed. This was my birthday cast on one, two, three years ago. Last year I did a uh, terrazzo by Petit Knit. The year before I did The Girl's Best Friend by Isabel Kramer. So yeah, three years ago. And this is Gloam by Caitlin Hunter. And of course, I changed everything about it. <laughs> um, the, I knit mine in a two fingering weight strands held double. And it's a yak sock. One is in silver. Another one was in fig. My own hand, I'd say. It's marled. It has this beautiful texture all around. It has a very dramatic sleeve. And on the back, it has the same texture. It's loose. It's cozy. It's very warm. Yeah, it's a bit chilly day today. And I knit mine as a one piece. Because I hate seaming. I really do. And the pattern was made in pieces. But I really love the design. So, yeah, I knit mine as a one piece. And it worked out just fine. Just by picking up the, sleeve, uh, the stitches everywhere and... I figured it out and I don't think this needs to be knit in pieces. I even did a faux seam here <laughs> um, because sometimes seams are good. They add structure, they add stability like to the shoulder, but I don't think this one needed to be seamed. I, I did not, I could not see the benefit <laughs> of seaming, so I just did it as one piece. Yay. <laughs> um, change everything. Okay. Happy mail. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, yeah. And the earrings are by Design by Kieto. But I think you have seen these before. And the dress is just an old linen dress that I'm wearing here. Uh, I, have a, I have a couple of bits of happy mail. I got my goodie kit set from Westnitz for the high... I want to say hibernate along because I got this. It's not a hibernate along. It's a mystery knit along. Uh, I added this to my order. It was on sale uh, because I want the Aurora Cabin shawl from here. I love it and I want to knit it someday. So I picked it up because it was like a price of a, almost price of a single pattern. 
Uh, that's a little acquisition. Happy Mail, yeah, purchases and acquisitions. And then I got my goodie kit. Because I'm using my own yarn for Mystery Knit Along. If you want to see it, jump to the previous episode. And the goodie kit included... It was a part of my birthday gift to myself. <laughs> the goodie kit included a tote bag in a random color. I think there were three different ones. I got the mustardy yellow, which is good. Uh, some MCAL stickers. Stickers. Um, the gauge thingy <laughs> ruler for needles and and yeah and the gauge and then these I mostly wanted these <laughs> honestly the tags the Macal tag and then the uh, West Knits labels I will put them in all my West Knits things. No, I probably have more than <laughs> more than this amount, but yes. But yeah. <laughs> so just the goodies. Just the goodies. And then I get the beautiful package. I got the package from my friend Angela in Germany. And there was some yarn. There were other things as well. A lot of things for the kids. But I will I will just show you the yarn. Because yeah. <laughs> she sent me Danish yarn, which is funny. <laughs> uh, Lama Old by Camarose. And then I think this is German. Yes. This is um, Schlossparty. What? Schlossparty. Schlossparty. <laughs> I'm trying to roll my R's. <laughs> um, it's alpaca. It feels like alpaca. Yes. Uh, alpaca and then these and I think these would make beautiful mittens, right? Oh, beautiful colors, beautiful mittens, definitely. Yes, I, I love this yarn. I know this yarn. I love this yarn. Haven't knit with it for quite a while. They also had a, I don't know, do they still have? Probably the Tweedy version. And I have knit Sophia uh, Cardigan in that one, but lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. And... Yes, I have I have five minutes and then I need to run. I run like a wind. So I will not have uh, I will not have the spread the love, uh, share the love. Uh, <coughs> what is it? <laughs> Section segment this time because I did not prepare again. I just could not pick whom do I talk about and I. I don't have much of notes today and we will leave it for the next time. So let's go to knit and chat. I'm not going to knit because I have nothing here with me. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to hurry. Uh, calm down, woman. Let's talk about my week. Let's talk about my week. My week started on Monday. Actually, we can tell it started last weekend. My family was very nice to me on Sunday and they gave me a day off everything. I, I was just I was just enjoying myself whole Sunday and knitting. I think I just did like one load of laundry and cooked one meal and that was it. And the rest was my knitting time. I didn't even need to clean the house. They took care of that. And I was like, it was my pre pre birthday <laughs> free day. <laughs> it was lovely. That's why I got I almost got a swan shot done in that one day. Um, yeah, and then Monday was beautiful. It was lovely. I started the day with a cup of coffee and my birthday cast on. My family got me some flowers. Some <laughs> I got Lego flowers and they are... I have wanted the Lego flowers. I'm a, I'm a nerd. I'm a big nerd. I love my Legos and I never, I can never justify buying them for myself. So, yeah. So my family got me Lego flowers. I already assembled all of them and they, they will they will bring smile to my face every time I look at them. I will put them somewhere. I just need to find a nicer vase for them. Vase, vase. How do you say that? Depending where you are probably. But yeah, <laughs> you know, some kind of vessel. <laughs> um, so yeah. Then I went to work, but my mm, software was uh, doing something weird. I couldn't really print shipping labels, so I gave up on that. And then we went for... Yeah, it was a sign that go away, woman. <laughs> Have a day off. Uh, so I didn't actually do any work. I tried. 
Uh, then we went for lunch with a hobby. We went out, had a beautiful salmon with some vegetables um, and went for a cup of coffee, came back home. <laughs> uh, I was knitting a lot and we had, yeah, we had cake and sushi for dinner and not in that order. <laughs> not in that order and it was just overall very very nice and relaxing day and the next day i woke up completely broken with a terrible headache and i was like what's going on why do i feel like i've been partying for two weeks and i have a massive hangover even though we did not even drink anything and my husband was like yeah that's how your body responds to the rest <laughs> not compatible <laughs> your body is shocked that you got the day off and i was like yeah must be it and then it pretty much went downhill from that but don't really want to talk about it it's just life lots of things happening i'm trying to power through and i'm just I'm just glad it's Friday because tomorrow is Sophia's birthday and we have relatives coming and some friends and I'll be cooking. I'll be, I'll, I just want to, I, I want her to have the best day ever tomorrow. So I'll be still probably in the night knitting a dress for Fifi the frog <laughs> uh, and packing her little suitcase that she could move in. Sophia's house tomorrow because you know she lost her luggage she needs all new stuff <laughs> uh yeah uh, so I don't know is there anything else probably a lot of things a lot of things uh and thank you all for the wonderful birthday wishes I still have not responded to everyone because I've been I've been off social media this week entirely like I couldn't even I was just so drained my battery was at zero in the evenings and I, I wasn't even knitting and yeah but I feel I feel much better and more energized today and I think we will <laughs> we will we will get back on track yes uh is there anything else I think I think no so I will I, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful weekend or week whenever you're watching this one more thing next week next week there probably won't be an episode because i will be away with my yarn at pop-up in yoensu which is up 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 north from us not very north like halfway <laughs> uh yeah it's it's i think around four hour drive so yeah we're gonna be away on uh yeah the pop-up is on a Saturday, so I, I will have no chance to record anything for you, unfortunately. But then I will try to catch up next week, like one after. S yeah, just just a little note that you wouldn't wonder where where am I? I'm, I'm working. <laughs> uh, and probably having fun with some knitting friends, because a lot of my knitting friends live in Yoen. So hi, ladies. If you're watching, I will see you next week. Don't plan anything for Saturday. We're going out to eat and knit. <laughs> uh, so, you heard me. You heard me. Don't plan anything. I hope not, none of you are working <laughs> uh, that weekend. So, uh, yes. Okay. Now, now I'm going to wrap it up because I think I'm already late for where I need to be or soon I will be. Okay. I'm... Um, just thank you all for wonderful messages, for wonderful wishes, and for being here with me. And much love from our forest corner. I'll see you in probably two weeks. Or follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I, 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 I'm I trying to be there more often. Yay. Okay. Heippa. And heippa means bye. <laughs> that was it knee cracking of a woman that's one year older than last time. <laughs>